Hi Libra, this is Jess with your November 11th to the 18th reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day for this weekly. I didn't say that part, but it is weekly reading. Uh, so Libra, I'm definitely seeing Operation Shutdown for this week. Operation Shutdown. I feel like some of you guys are taking on fire energy this week. Um, some of you could be thinking about a threesome situation like you're involved in. Some of you are involved in a threesome situation and you may be thinking about um, if what this person is telling you is true. Like he is not engaging with the with the the his his woman like if he's not engaging but i almost get like this standoff like you um are kind of not accepting someone's calls their advances like you're not being open to it and i feel like um this person has tried to express their feelings for you and you're just like, no, I'm not going to, like, you feel like you're suspicious. It's a lot of suspicion. I feel like for both of you, but you got, you Libras are more suspicious, I feel. Um, some of you could be doing this. So you're trying to um, connect with someone or try to convince them that they're being paranoid, that sort of thing. Um, but I did tell you in your last reading that they think you don't know, right? Okay. Now, um, so this week, I feel like it's pretty much a shutdown. I feel like you guys have been coming, you've come into this week definitely, um, like right now you're hearing me, some of you could have just started to get back control after having a hard, some of you guys definitely had a hard week, hard week prior, like emotion up, down, all over the place, but you're getting, you're getting control. You're getting control troll now i'm gonna tell you one thing some of you are heartbroken and i think that's what you guys were dealing with this heartbreak it could have been a heartbreak from the past someone that did you wrong if you're still a little dealing with this person you've been dealing with this person forever um you felt like you were about to die last week for some of you guys i said you felt like i didn't say you, you did i said you felt like you were about to die because it, this is the first time i would honestly say you guys were feeling heartbroken and i feel like you were feeling a lot that has happened to you not just whatever this new situation is that recently happened I feel like some of you guys are always feeling like I'm always the person that got to find out someone's doing something wrong or you know whatever like you guys have just had it and it's like I, I can't do this anymore and you're crying and you're feeling the pains of so many situations it could be three significant people three significant situations three years of pain that you've never cried or felt and now you've allowed yourself to just honestly feel it and that good cry that you guys had and that good um just breakdown because that's what i'm kind of seeing a breakdown that breakdown that you guys kind of had although although the way you're communicating to people they would never know it <laughs> they would never know it. It's almost like you guys are taking on a Scorpio energy. They would never know that you guys um, are inside just like, you know, was just going through it. Like, but that was good for you. It was a purging because now I do see that there's a lot of control that you guys have a lot. Um, And I feel like reclaiming your sense of control I feel like there's going to be some type of change that comes about, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you right now, it's not very clear about what the full picture is going to be. Obviously, some things that you guys are not supposed to know. Um, yeah, I do have the moon. <laughs> Speaking of that, it's a moon car here. Some things that you're not supposed to know. Um, but right now, you're sifting through some things. And I feel like regaining your um, composure, your control, your logical mindset, um, over the situation this um i'm sorry what is it coming up i think it's a full moon that's coming up yeah this full moon will create you guys moving some of you physically moving some of you moving on um but it's gonna get you it's gonna re it's gonna activate some type of movement mental moving to a better place where you can finally let go of the past um or physically moving away from a situation that you felt a place situation that was not healthy for you okay a lot of beautiful beautiful things is Develop. Like I know some people in the comments want to say because I'm gonna tell you right now you don't have to say this you can save that 
you're going to say, or you're going to want to say, we always get this, you know, Jupiter is in our sign and blah, 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 blah. And they say it's going to be great, but why is it? Listen, it ha it's Jupiter. So when it comes close to you, it's going to like explode things in your life, you know, because it's Jupiter. So once it consumes you, you're going to almost like have to, everything is going to have to like explode. And then the, the good, this thing, new stuff come in, but with Jupiter, it's going to be beneficial. It's a benefit, a, ben a benefic sign. I'm um, sorry planet it's gonna be a benefic planet so it's going to happen i feel like again it's going to take some time next year it's going to be a full circle so a whole year your life is going to be really changed and for those of you that's feeling right now that you know what i'm never going to let anyone close to me again i'm never going to love again i'm never going to no that's going to no it's not true you're going to love again you're going to meet a soulmate in fact and um i feel like it's not going to be happening right here definitely not happening in the month of november i feel like sometime for some of you it's going to be 10 months out i feel like um some of you might actually start to open yourself up and feel that sense of source of happiness and get confirmation that things are changing for the better better for you guys in the month of um, February I was getting but in the Aquarius season things are really I feel going to start to change for the better um, for some of you and that's when some of you may even start to um, leave home and go to school that sort of thing uh, and I do see toward the end of the week I can't help but to talk about you know things happening projecting out because that's what the cards are saying uh, but toward the end of the week i feel like there's going to be so this stalemate with this person um i feel like the person is going to want to act but they're going to reserve like they are going to want to act and confront you and, and you know go after you that sort of thing because you guys aren't speaking but they're gonna reserve especially if they're fire sign with earth's i'm sorry with the virgo in them so aries tor uh Air, or taurus so aries leo sagittarius with either taurus or virgo in them um i feel like they're going to want to act they're definitely going to um try to they're trying to figure this thing out with you they really are going to be trying to figure this out um it's funny because it's like showing me it could be a threesome but i'm almost feeling like it's not like you guys have removed yourself from whatever threesome or that person has removed themselves from whatever threesome situation because at the end of the week either you guys are going to meet someone new someone's going to contact you and tell you that you know and they've been away for quite some time and then they're going to tell you like hey you know i've been thinking about you for a long time uh, but the person is single the person isn't with anyone else so i know i led this reading with um there's a threesome situation and you you think they don't know but i'm almost getting like either you guys have left the situation so now you're dealing with the residuals of that and there's no more of this threesome or um when you need meet this new person to at the end and part of the week whether it be this old person or a brand new person the person's not with anyone anymore anymore they're single they're alone and they've been contemplating and they have been really trying to figure out how do they tackle you because it's, it seems like it's almost impossible at this point like they're gonna they're looking at you like what did i do now <laughs> that's what you guys might be dealing with like what did i do now you may even hear your husband say like what did i do now are you like i'm not doing it i ain't even do anything what did i do now so that's what i'm kind of sensing um just be careful don't make you know innocent people pay for a long duration of heartache and pain and deceit from others you know even if it's someone from your past that they contributed to it but you are trying you like you're giving them a chance you know don't don't you know either tell them you need some space or just you know yeah because i see that you just need some space and they don't understand that and you need to figure out some things you need to feel what you're feeling you're going to come out of it on the other side libras don't worry about it and your heart is going to get so renewed like your heart because right now you guys are cold as like you're not even cold as ice you guys are like still it's not even ice in there so it can't even melt it's like just straight still it's like whoo but you're gonna get on the other side of it and your heart is going to like this this all of this purging is really good for you because you guys are gonna love again to the maximum extent okay so that's what i see for you guys i didn't touch on work because it really kind of like is screaming love 
life. Um, but I feel like some of you may be um, interviewing with two people, like you're going for interviews if you're looking for work and you may have to interview with two people. One, one will be nice. The other person is going to be very flashy and very like, you know, probably antsy. So they almost like they have ADD, like, you know, they can't sit, sit still, that sort of thing. And you're not going to be too sure about either one of them. <laughs> Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be very much um, controlling your um, environment as far as the workplace is concerned. For those of you that are working, um, I feel like a lot of you are going to um, work well with people. There may be people that you have to work with as a team, uh, but there may be some um, separation, some layoffs and stuff that's not happening this week. It's going to be coming down the pike. Uh, but yeah, some of you are going to be hearing down the line that some people, at least two people are going to be let go. Some of you could be in the meeting that discusses who do we let go. We have two to let go. Uh, and so if you are in HR and that sort of thing, you're kind of privy to um, the back the back office um, personnel um, situations. It may be hard for you because you guys, some of you may know this person and you're like, hey, you know, it's hard that eventually you're going to have to get let go. But yeah, I see a couple of people are going to be getting let go from your job. Um, <clears throat> some, I can hear somebody say, is it me, Justin? Is it me? Am I going to get let go? Uh, it could be. I mean, it could be. I mean, it's, it, you know, I do see you guys leaving and moving on. So there could be discussions about, you know, you being one of the people that's going to be let go. Um, but if it does, trust me, this is going to be a blessing because you guys are going to be fine. Uh, so that's what I have for you guys. But don't sit here and worry yourself about I'm going to get let go. No, um, I feel more it's going to be. Well, yeah, it can be one of you guys. It could be one of you guys. I'm just saying it could be one of you guys. But some of you could already say, yes, I did get let go in the comment section below. Some people may already say that. But then you're feeling like, you know, you know, everything is going to be OK. So. That's what I have for you guys for this week. You guys literally had the longest video <laughs> so far. Um, and if you can relate and like to share with us your thoughts and what's going on with you, comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you're new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Libra.